Once again, guys, this is Prince Dice here, the Royal Financial Investment Group, coming to you guys live with another great video. Um, I don't have a lot of time. I definitely know you guys don't have a lot of time. So, as always, we're going to jump straight into this. This video is going to be about short selling. Now, below, you're going to see in the description box when I'm going to have a step by step video of e trade, a video already published, uh, giving you a step by step of how to short sell with uh, e trade itself, right? So we're going to walk through this, what it exactly means for dummies, broken down. It's something that I've been able to uh, do and explain to kids. They've been able to get it, so I definitely know you're going to be able to get it. So let's get straight into it. So short selling, by definition, it means as where, as where when an investor sells shares of his stock, they don't own with the intent to buy them back and later sell them at a lower price, right? So again, let's walk through that again. It's where an investor sells shares of his stock they do not own with the intent to buy them back later at a lower price. So essentially what's going to happen, in this example, we're going to use rollerblades, right? So we're going to walk through the example first before we get through too much talk. So your friend buys a new pair of rollerblades for $80. You borrow them from your friend who brought them, and you sell them to someone else for $80. Let's pause right there. Now you have $80, right? You borrow something from somebody, you sell it to somebody else for $80. Now you have $80. The price at the store is lowered to $45. So guess what you do? You say, hey, you know what? I borrowed this from somebody. So I'm going to go to the store, buy it for $45, give them back to my friend, and guess what? I made $35. Now, in real life, on the stock market, how this happened is when you short something, this is when someone borrows shares from a broker in most cases. They borrow shares from a broker. They sell them to someone else. They take the money. They are hoping that the price drops. When the price drops, they go back and they buy the shares for a lower price, leaving them with a profit, which is cool. Now, the bad side of short selling is that you have unlimited amount of loss. Let's look at this on the reverse side. You borrow these rollerblades from someone for $80. You sell them to someone else for $80. You have a profit of $80 right now, right? Let's say if the price goes up to $200. Guess what? That person still wants their rollerblades. Now you have to go to the store and purchase these rollerblades for two hundred dollars for a loss, and then so you can return them back to someone. This is when on Wall Street, when you see people jumping off of bridges and doing crazy stuff or whatever. Usually, when you look and tell, it's mostly because somebody shorted something, because shorting something could be profitable if something drops. But it has an unlimited amount of loss. What if that stock goes all the way through the roof or something happened and it goes against you? Now you end up owing money that you end up owing more than you invested, right? So it's very, very risky. And usually you have to have a special account, making sure that you have enough experience to know what you're getting yourself into. But anyway, that's a quick, short, simple video. You can show this to anybody, your kids, anything. They all understand this concept, which is a great un concept to understand. But anyway, my long going off. Till next video, you guys know what to do. Be safe.